Hi everyone, this is Freya from Otherworldly, and I'm coming to you from the Fantasy Fair again. Today it is quest time, the Fantasy Fair quest. A wonderful story unfolds, you travel through the regions, and then there's lots of cool prizes at the end. I probably won't take you through the whole quest, gotta leave something for you, uh, but at least introducing it. And since it is called the Magic of Dragons, well, it seemed like a perfectly reasonable thing to be a dragon. So, I dressed up as Prehistoricus Valorian Dragon, a brand new release for the fair, which kindly was provided to the bloggers. I'm here in the Wormling form. Uh, there are um, additional sizes. This is the smallest size, the 25% size sort of and then there is the sub adult the um, adult the elder and the ancient which is absolutely massive um, we've experienced and blogged some of um, prehistoricus dragons before or specifically their wyvern uh, but this one is um, a new creation inspired by the dragons of westeros um, hence the slightly cheeky Valorian name. Um, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't, you know, too outright. Uh, I don't think you can necessarily copyright the uh, design of a dragon, though the names, yes, are, of course, uh, probably trademarked by HBO at this point. So that's probably a good call, uh, but it's very fun to see these dragons realized. I think... The shapes of these are um, primarily inspired by the Game of Thrones dragons, so Daenerys' dragons from the first series. But I know that Wanderers Nowhere, has, with the creator behind Prehistorica, has talked about creating um, mods for these or versions of these so that you can get different heads and body variations to capture some of the variations that they've introduced in House of the Dragon. Uh, the dragon comes with this uh, hood um, where you can customize colors. It comes with preset skins. It's also possible to create your own or buy third-party skins. Um, there are various AO options, camera mode options, commands. Like, you can do things. I see the, the HUD is a little slow here, or it was the last time, but now it wasn't. So, for example, you can fire people like this. Oh, there, I better back up. Not strictly sure why that didn't show up in here. It may have something to do with either the lighting or the fact that we are uh, limited on uh, what scripts can do here on um, on these sims. Ah, but there, there we've got the fire going. Um, I've got iridescent scaling on on my dragon as well you got materials that you can um, enable and then you see you have all these actions and things that you can do as well i'll give you a quick look at the customize menu as well um you see you can get the maps and um, create your own texture here you've got skins materials tint glow alpha eyes teeth and claw so you can customize quite a lot. Um, I thought something, you know, purplish was a good choice for um, the RFL event. Uh, didn't quite have a pink one. The watch one might have been closer. But anyway, I like this purple dragon. So I thought that next step, once I, oh, once I get the correct menu closed, should be to move into introducing the quest. So for the quest we have two vendors. You have the standard vendor which is uh, 250 lindens and then you have the deluxe edition which gives you these outfits from Belle Epoque. And since it's all going to a good cause I will get the deluxe edition. So we pick that up and I'm not going to be putting on the dress or the man's outfit, because I don't think they fit a dragon, actually. Um, 
so we have to dig our way into my very full inventory and we unpack the hood mm, let me see ah it is probably being added to it's either being added to myself or being i think it's being a little slow there we go um ah there we are we have the little um fantasy fair uh, logo emblem um, added to my dragon wing um, that one is you can keep the box of course because um, the sign of the fantasy fair if you want to use that for something for example photos or something else um, so I'm gonna hold on to that one and then we see what we have in the folder uh, we have a poster a holding animation for uh, the sign, I think. Uh, we've got the outfits, and we've got a HUD, and then we have a README. So I think we're going to start with the README. Okay, so we start by attaching the quest HUD, and we will be obedient and do this as it should be done. Okay, and then you get the uh, terms and the privacy statement and I do a quick scroll through that and close it and I agree okay and I think I've already accepted the experience from previous years um, so otherwise you will get a pop-up at this point asking you to accept an experience um, but I've done the quest previous years, so this has already been been taken care of. Um, and then I should add Syrah or Kyra, my companion, and I will not see her until I locate her in world. Okay, so I've added her. Hopefully, she won't be like eaten by the dragon or something, uh, or by the dragon's body. Hopefully, I will find her somewhere. And then we have the options for the HUD will teleport you, it'll show sponsors, it will show hints and inventory when you receive your mission. Oh, she will be riding on your shoulder. We will see if that works or otherwise I'll have to make her invisible. You can also go back to look at any cutscenes. Okay, so we have the first hint. Your first task is to locate the Bard Queen on Fairlands Junction. She will offer you a mission to aid the four children of Shahara, the Dragon Guardian of the Fairlands. The, the four dragonets have been tasked with renewing the health of the realm. Okay. So I have to find the dragonets. So we're going to try and find the Bard Queen as the first step. And uh, since I know I have trouble with this every year, I took a little sneaky break and decided to locate her. Uh, trust me, you want to do some careful camming around and not just um, randomly wandering. Especially the junction um, can be a little confusing the way it spirals on and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly up here because she's sneaky. She's actually not along the path. She is on top of one of these. Um, the worldling builds. Uh, down here you'll see that um, there are uh, various builds. So I am going to land here and wander up to the Bard Queen. Hopefully I'm small enough to do this because somebody said the touch boxes means that you have to be fairly close. But I think I'm fine. So here we go. So as you see here, you get a video. Um, and I hope I have everything on. And we'll listen to this.
back up as well. So that Hello, friend. I hope you don't mind that I brought you here. Sometimes a person just needs a little alone time to think, you know? Just please don't let on that I've found the secret to being two places at once. It's been very busy here, and I have a mission in mind for you. It's one I think you might enjoy. So let me start with a story. Many years ago, the Unweaver's forces invaded a realm called Nadia. Its residents fought so bravely and so well that they drove out their enemy completely. But the land was left broken. It couldn't support its people any longer, so they too were forced to leave the home they loved. Over time, the scars on the land healed, but still, little but grass and brambles would grow there. The land itself seemed to have lost hope. It came to be called Sirkaya, the Forlorn. At the time, I didn't have resources at hand to restore the realm, so I put it to sleep, covering it with a blanket of snow and ice, waiting for the day we could find a way to bring it back to health. And perhaps today is that day. You see, a year ago, we were blessed by the birth of four baby dragons, the children of Shahara, the dragon guardian of the Fairlands community. You've probably heard the old saying, Ubi draconis vivunt, ibi magicae vivant. Well, it just says what everyone knows. Where a dragon lives, there magic may dwell. So I've decided on their first birthday to put the realm under the protection of the four little dragonets. I've asked them to guard it and grow it, to help magic thrive there once more, and make it a home again for its people. And because we intend for it to be forlorn no more, I've given it a new name in the ancient tongue of its people. Its name is Nova Nadia. That means new hope. Now, let me tell you a little about the dragonets. Even at their young age, each one shows powerful gifts, and each is determined to bring light to the world in their own way. Gaia the Firstborn was the first to break the shell of her egg. She's a natural trailblazer, and she's persistent, very strong-willed, but in such a positive way, others want to follow her lead. We call Telenor the Bard. He's a singer of songs and a teller of stories. But even more, learning those tales has brought him wisdom and a deep understanding that's rare in one so young. He has a real gift for bringing people together. Saraminka is an adventurer, daring and brave and ready to explore and experience all the many realms. She's not afraid of anything, but as much as her eyes are on the horizon, she'll never forget where she comes from. And once a friend, always a friend, she says. Ardani is our dreamer, the quietest of the siblings. He lives in his imagination, a vision of a wonderful world. And his faith in that vision is unshakable, that come what may, the light will prevail. His conviction is so strong, it helps others believe too. Now, as you know, the magic of dragons is very powerful. All the same, it's not clear the dragonets can accomplish this on their own. So there is a role for you. I can't say just now what we'll ask of you, my friend, but I know you are important to this task. If you're willing to help, go find a young phoenix here on Junction. Her name is Syra. She's a mage in our bardic order, and I've asked her to guide the dragonets in their effort to renew Nova Nadia. You'll find her here on Junction, not far away. She's just come back from a visit to Nova Nadia. She can fill you in on conditions there and take you to meet the dragonets. I'm so glad to offer you a mission worthy of your heart and mind. Best luck to you. Cyril will help keep us in touch. And there we have it. That is the opening and the story for this year's quest at the Fantasy Fair. So I'm going to close the video here. And we have uh, done our business with the Bard Queen. And it's very funny, I've done the quest for many years, of course, and we can see, like with the evolution of SL here, obviously, these used to be uh, 2D cutouts, basically, uh, pictures that somebody had taken of an avatar and then uh, um, pasted up like that, and the videos and everything, it's all gotten so much more advanced uh, with mesh and mesh avatars and bento.
So that's very cool. And um, and they always, you know, write these really detailed stories that all have to do with the Fairlands and the the enemy of the Unweaver, which is the um, basically the the form in the Fairlands that Cancer takes, and uh, that the the fantasy fair uh, and its heroes work to drive out. Um, so it's a really nice symbolism there. So we're gonna go and see if we can find Syrah. And at the same time, I guess we will have a little fly around of the junction. Um, so you can see that it has these platforms and all these beautiful lights. And uh, there are points where you can buy uh, lights to commemorate uh, people who've passed away. Um, and have them shining here on the junction. So, in my little snooping, I know that Syra is hanging out on one of these as well. And yes, she's down there. You can also see all these beautiful um, ice paths that curl around. Well, let me see. I, I think she... Oops. The one uh, negative about the, these big avatars, of course, is that it can be very difficult to control um, your um, your camming. Ah, uh, here, here we are with the um, with the lights as well. That you you can see down here the lights that you can you can buy for uh, for someone who's been lost. So we're going to wander up to. Syrah without running over anyone in the process. Um, I'm glad I picked the wormling size and nothing uh, nothing bigger. Okay. So for Syrah here you can see that we get it in um, in chat. Um, so uh, we get uh, Cyrus message that uh, Nova Nadia is in a sad state. Uh, the Unweaver's forces have destroyed the land, uh, but the Dragonets uh, are eager to start restoring it. Uh, all right, and we will see if we can have um, Syra with us, and we should go to Shahara, their mother on Sipala. All right. Then we get our nice little teleport hood and we find Sepala and we go there. Now I have explored Sepala a little bit before and it is a lovely realm. And we have the dragons hanging out here. I'm gonna fly. I look much better when I'm flying, don't I? And I promise not to scare all the giraffe. Well, that's Sambo over there. Make sure we stay on Zapala. Oh! There we are. I flew right into the dragon. He's a little bit bigger than I am. So, I'm gonna land here right in front of her. And she's in a trance state, Cyrus is. But maybe we can wait her, wake her up. Ah, and we get a little audience with Shahara as well. I greet you, Fairlander. You came to speak to my children, I believe. But they are gone to their new home, so impatient to begin. I am watching over their journey from the astral plane. We are in Nova Nadia now, by the lake. Yet I am also here with you. You are willing to help my children, and I am grateful. Even so young, each of them is gifted in a certain way. Gaia is strong in will. Telenor in understanding. Saramenka is brave. Ardani is a visionary. But they will need tools to help them manifest their gifts. You are the right person to seek and find those. I know because the Bard Queen sent you. 
Help my children, Fairlander. Dragons, you know, can be very grateful. Okay, so off to yet another realm we are. Okay, so we have been sent on to Nova Nadia, and we'll have a look on the teleport um, where we can find that. Um, here we go, and I guess we will go over and check out the little dragonets. And we're into yet another realm, and as you can see, this one is snowy and a bit dark. But with the help of the little dragonets, perhaps we can improve that. And I think she said they are by the lake, and yes, indeed, here they are. So I will fly over and say hello to them. I'll try not to land on my uh, little um, relatives, or um, I call them. And here, indeed, we have our little dragonets. I guess we will start with whoever is closest. Okay, so Gaia. Alright, they want some of the elixirs. Strength, persistence, resilience, and commitment. That sounds good. Um, Do we have to talk to all of them? I think we probably do. Okay, I have to move a little closer. Oh my goodness, they are baby dragons, but they're bigger than me. And here we have our Donny. And he wants some kindling stones. Those quartz, turquoise, lapis lazuli, and moonstone. Okay, that's two out of four. Um, let's see, what's this Gaia? Yep, that's Gaia. So we've done her, and then we have the green one, which is Talinor. And he wants four books of ancient songs and stories. So they all have something relating to... And I think we had our little adventure up here. A little closer to her to be able to... There we go with Saraminka. She wants a spyglass, a weather glass, the half-full glass of optimism, and the hourglass of fluid time. So now I need to search the Fairlands for the items that the dragonets need. First, I'm going to take a little fly around here and see what it is we're supposed to fix up. Give you this realm as well. This is a great one for photos, if you uh, if you want to explore the fantasy fair and take some nice photos. This one mostly doesn't have any vendors and such, so it's just nice nature to um, explore and have a look around in. Lots of trees that you can fly into as well. I think I should probably have a little perch somewhere and take some photos here as well. But let's see what the next step is. Actually, I think I'm going to fly up here to the arch. That seems like a nice place to perch. And pose for some photos, perhaps, while I look at... I managed to... position myself. Not quite. A little closer little closer. There we go. Are we on solid ground now? Yes, we are. Although we're sinking into a little, the snow a little bit, but that's fine. So, let's have a little cam around and see what that looks like. That's pretty cool, although I want to get some more lighting in for photos. But anyway, 
Where are we? We want to see if we get any hints for this. Uh, Nova Nadia won't have anything, Cyrus says. So I guess we are simply going to have to go through the Fairlands uh, one at a time, probably, to find hints. Um, and that's going to take a while. And I think that it will probably be... A, it will be spoilery, and A, it'll be a little tricky filming at the same time. So I think I will leave you on your own from here. You will simply have to figure out the rest of the quest, but you've seen the opening and you've seen some of the the cool stuff that you will encounter if you do this quest, which I definitely think you should. And of course, I also think you should be getting, if you want to be a dragon, you should be getting this fantastic avatar from uh, Prehistorica and uh, taking that for a little spin yourself. So I'm going to leave you with some looks at the dragon. And perhaps I will also give you some I gave you some demonstrations earlier. I will probably have reason to return to the dragon. Um, and to give you more details about that, perhaps showing some of the other sizes of the dragon. Uh, but for now, my little wormling will be saying bye-bye, and don't forget to do the quest yourself.